No, wait, no, no. I watched the video of Mrs. Doubtfire saying, hello, uh, thanks to Bill for sending that. So I can practice my hello. No, that's not right. Okay. Um, hello. Yeah, I'm really working on it, but maybe I just, I need to listen to it more. So in the meantime, hello, everyone. Thank you all for joining. Um, it is Friday, December 1st. Isn't that crazy? Holy smokes, it's December. I get really excited about in, in December, not just because it's holiday time, because I like the festivities and the lights and all that kind of stuff. But it's also my birthday month. There is no Brown. He is on a phone call today. So we're going to have to just entertain ourselves without him. What are we entertaining ourselves with today, you may ask? Well, um, we are playing with the Midori MD B6 Slim Gridded Notebook. As you know, it's one of my favorite inky notebooks and then <coughs> sorry um we have a pilot parallel this is the 1.5 millimeter i know you're used to seeing the blue 6.0 millimeter thought i would change it up today a little and um it's well is this red or is this orange hmm you know come to think of it i'm not actually sure but um it's it's reddish, uh, orangish, and yeah, I'm really starting to wonder if this is actually the red one. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of red because the the um, the two point four is is actually orange, and the ink we are playing with is the new black stone. This is the blue cypress, and this is one of their new scented inks. So unfortunately, I can't let you sniff it, but we can talk about it, right? Okay. Um. It, okay, so it actually is the red one, reddish, red-orange. It's like a persimmon orange because this is the actual orange. So I can put my fears to rest that I'm working with the right pen, the pen that I had in mind. Okay, so this ink, um, Blackstone names their inks after like Australian things. The, 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 the initial series is like um, Uluru Red, so it's, it's like... Like I like iconic wonders of um, Australia. So these are made in Australia. Now the I had to look this up. So don't laugh at me. I'm sure most of you didn't know what a blue cypress is either. It is um, it is a rare northern cypress pine, which is native to Australia's like northern territory. So I think that's pretty cool. The let's just let's just do this for fun. The scientific name is like Calitris Calitris intratropica. Pretty cool, but uh, blue cypress is much easier to say, so we're going to play with that. And I also have the last inspiration from the Blackstone Barrier Reef Blue, just for something to kind of compare to. However, let's get going. I always like to flip through this because it's so pretty. Oh, oh, oh my god, so pretty. Okay, and my creepy clown teardrop. Now, I've already inked this, and there's still a bit of moisture on it, so I'm just going to wipe it down a bit because there's, um, there's a bit of water in my cap. Okay, so let's get going. Let's get cooking. Hello to the UK. Oh, thank you for joining because I guess your day is after early, early evening, late afternoon there. Okay, so this is the... Midori, I'm just making something up here, peeps. No idea what I'm doing. In terms of my choice of handwriting style, it's complete madness. Midori. And this is the MD. That was a hideous M, but we're going to go with it. Uh, okay, wait, how do you do a capital D again? Something like this. Okay, let's, okay. Uh, I'm gonna just write an MD next to it. Oh my gosh, that's horrible. Um, the pen. Let's do something a little easier. Okay. Something a little less traumatic than the attempt at whatever that is up there. Now, this is a pretty wet pen, 
So you can see the application is quite wet. And this, what was this again? 1.5. Ah! Oh, no! No! Uh, the hazards of ink spiring. Wait, right on the corner here. 1.5 millimeter. And the ink is... In case you're wondering about the weird writing, I'm trying to mimic the font that is on the bottle. I am definitely failing at it, but I'm going to continue because I have gotten this far. It's really cute. It's like rounded and happy. Okay, so here, let me just show... Oh, sorry. I just smacked my phone. See? I'm like trying to match the font. Okay, wait. I have not looked at my phone for like three minutes here. Let me see what, any questions? Um, ah, Bong, yes. Bong the rabbit has, it seems he has abandoned me because I have not seen him, but I have not seen any of the rabbits. There, there were quite a few outside, so they've all either moved on or started their winter den hiding somewhere else. I'm not sure. I'm sure he's okay, though. Yes, Bong got an agent and now refuses photographs. He's become very spoiled. Okay. Um, okay, so let's talk about Blue Cypress. Let me just do a bit of a ink swab here. And I'll do another one, let it dry a little, and then I'll smear it again. Okay, so Blue Cypress. It is a fascinating color. Because it's more of a green. <laughs> um, let me show you here. Let's look at it up close. It definitely leans towards the green side. Um, and it's quite beautiful. I think with a really wet application, it's like really fun because it has a red sheen, which we have discussed with the Blackstone Barrier Reef Blue. So... Their darker inks are quite sheening, which is really nice. You see the sheen, especially in the black stone there. And with the MD, uh, my attempt at MD. Oh, God, that's so bad. I am so ashamed. So it's a nice, it's a nice, like, darker green. Very legible. Very work appropriate if you're, if you need, like, a fun color, but something that can still be read by anyone reading your correspondences. I made such a mess in the cap. If I write on the edge of this nib, it's a very um, it's a very wet nib, so even the edge is quite dark, quite saturated. But it's still you could still make out the green tones. Okay, let's let's zoom that in a little. It's really nice. The drying times are not super long, and uh, at least not on this paper, because it's not like a slick paper. It is very fountain pen, fountain pen friendly, but it's not like super coated or anything. Okay, so let me just pull out the Barrier Reef Blue. So this was Barrier Reef Blue, and you can see that this is like full of sheen. The color is, it's quite saturated. Not in a bad way, like in a nice way. I think it's a very pretty color. It, um, the shading, I would say, is like medium. It's not super intense with shading, probably because it's already on the darker side. Hello! Okay, so let's talk about the smell. The, I, I, I know that um, there are essential oils made out of the northern cypress pine like leaves in the wood and um unfortunately i have never smelled it but i'm guessing that this is what the ink is supposed to smell like so um it's it it smells like the tree i you know but i i can't really describe the tree unfortunately but it's kind of a like a clean smell um like like sort of like piney a little bit piney and um, it's like a little crisp. So 
that's great if you enjoy scented inks. Now, if you don't like scented inks, the the nice thing is once you have like written written your stuff, it's gonna fade. It's not going to be super perfumed. And um, typically, what I do with scented inks is I I flush the pen out with dilute dish soap because I don't want the smell to linger in my pen. So let me. I really like Blackstone inks because they, I mean, aside from the fact that they come in these like totally useful, practical little Nalgene bottles, I, I think the amount is decent, like 30 mils. It's enough to play with, but not so much that you will never, ever use it up. And um, it's 12 bucks. So, you know, it's a little bit of a splurge for the scented one, but um, like it's a little more than the the regular, but yeah, it's fun. Like we need an excuse to buy more inks, right? Okay, so I wrote hello. Oh, actually, before I do anything, let me just show you how nice that hello came out. Isn't it pretty? Okay. So there are, um, I believe there are six new scented ones. I'm just trying to count the ink names in my head. And so they are all scented. So either you like it or you don't, I guess, but the color is so lovely. So it's kind of, it's like if you don't like scented, it's going to be tough because the colors are nice. I'm just coloring in my heart here. Has very good flow. It's not a dry ink. So if you have like a dry writer, it's a nice ink to put it in. I mean, uh, a nice ink to put into your dry writing pen. I'm just drying out the inside of my cap because I um, I flung my pen around a bit. So it's uh yeah it's it kind of makes me just think of like like a like a piney a piney type of smell, and um, well I guess that makes sense because it is a type of pine, and it's it's not it's actually not terrible. So you know if you're if you're not sure you can always try out a sample. Give it a good smell and see how you feel about it. You can always, you know, borrow or do like a ink swap with a fellow pen pal or something. No, that's not. Blues. But it's, yeah, it's more of a, a deep green. Pretty cool. I like it. I like the color a lot. I'm going to just turn the paint. I'm just going to wait for this to dry a little, you know, because let that dry. Okay, close enough, dry enough. Um, we've discussed the Midori notebook being fountain pen friendly, but uh, low show through, no bleed through. Very useful because that means you can use the back side of your page. Okay, what am I going to write? I'm going to write... Um, I need a word, I need a word because otherwise I'm just going to write hello again. And I can't do that because that's just shameful. Oh, I already started. Oh, no, I didn't. I'm going to do it now. The other cute thing about these inks is the label actually is quite accurate to the color of the ink. You can kind of see the like little pine needles. It's like a blue-green. It's really nice. Oh, you want me to write Eric. Thank you, Eric. That's an excellent suggestion. Look how cute this looks. Eric. Lovely. In it. All right. Have I rambled sufficiently? Let me just do one more quick splatter. And then, then I'm going to write. I'm going to write Cypress. just for fun. So like, I mean, you don't have to just use your inks for sensible things like writing at work or note taking. You can also just do fun stuff. Isn't that great? So the pen is $10. That's crazy. The ink is 12. And the notebook you can get, well, the notebook varies like depending on the size, but for the B6 Slim, it's $11. So pretty awesome. For late joiners, the ink is Blackstone Blue Cypress Scented. 
super exciting. Okay, I'm going to write super exciting, and I'm going to wrap it up, because I'm sure you all need to get back to work and all that stuff. But hopefully this has been a nice reprieve. Reprieve? Reprieve? Yes. Super. I hope you're all extremely inspired and excited to try this out. If you do, please tag us at Anderson Pen so we can see your creations. In the meantime, I hope this was inspiring and educational. And um, thank you all for joining. Have a great weekend. Happy beginning of December. So we will catch you next time. Bye-bye.